Testing, testing. Hello? Can you hear me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first YouTube video in six months. I haven't created in six months. And it's not like I didn't want to, I tried. I would start and stop and start and stop and start and stop again. I never completed anything. So this is a compilation of all of those projects that I started and stopped. And it's finally done. though hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is my sister hi <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh this is my sister danielle i love her she's been wanting to do this for a while so we're just gonna do it i guess it's like this magical fruit that you can eat and it take it takes sweet it makes sweet food sour and sour fruit sweet food food fruit 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 it makes yeah but it's not just fruit is it it's mostly fruit yeah and then a few other things that they're not super specific all right so the first thing we're gonna try that's not dissolved all the way yet <laughs> i mean mine hasn't either but damn no i mean we just chew it i don't want to don't follow the rules <laughs> Ready? Does it work right away? I don't know. Literally, there's so no instructions. No <laughs> okay. I'm just. Oh, we're each gonna take one. I wanna like. Tell <gasps> him. I'm not gonna do that. Come on. You get the ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoying. I'm just gonna lick it. But no, you have to. Mm. Well, I'm gonna lick it, and if it's good, then I'll take a bite. How about that? I can actually eat it. Like I'm not gonna a, eat it, but. Orange or something? I'm a. Mmm. Alright. One. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and then we'll see. Okay. Huh? One, two, three. It, it doesn't taste like you, lemons usually taste. It doesn't. Ooh, this tastes good. It tastes good. Mm-hmm. Like a fruit you could eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ate that. You want mine? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is a little, um, what's that word? Underwhelming? Yes. Hmm. But that's probably because you were like, this is gonna be the biggest thing since ever. And you're super excited. I was. Lower your expectations. <laughs> That's so terrible. So this is a terrible spot to start recording um, a vlog, but here we are. So July and I are in New Orleans. We are shooting for our um, Save the Date video. So we're here. Um, we have three looks. We have like a casual, a formal, and then like a thematic, which is like our personality. Um, this could be my personality, but it's not. This is my personality, but I can't look like this. Haven't talked to y'all in a minute. But yeah, so we're in New Orleans.
Hey guys, so it's been a while, um, but we are in school. We are in Seoul, South Korea, and um, I'm gonna vlog it. It, has, it feels really awkward. Let's try this again. We're in Seoul, South Korea, and um, we're here with the US, USO, and they're like a, um, they partner with troops who are stationed overseas to kind of help them like get acclimated to wherever they're at and to um, just help them remember home. So it's the Super Bowl weekend and Jelani was invited to um, watch the Super the Super Soul to watch the Super Bowl with them. So that's why he's here and that's why I'm here. So I'm going to vlog the trip. I probably won't talk a lot because... It's a really quick trip and it's like a lot of business. So, um, yeah. And there's Jelani. Hello. So, we're in LA and I told myself I wasn't gonna vlog. Um, but I just, I saw Mike's face, which is Jelani's groomsman, or best man actually, and um... Hey guys! Yeah, um... It's been a while. It has been. I don't think I've been on YouTube since October, November. I don't know. It's been a while though. Um, happy 2018. I'm late. Damn. It's we're two months in. We have started. We've started um, March already. But um, I'm back. Well, I'm here. Let me not say I'm back. I'm here. And um, with just like a little life update. I feel like that's all, that's all I do on this channel. And first, oh, there's so many things running through my head. But first, let me say hi to all the new subscribers. I have no idea where you came from. I don't know what made you subscribe. Um, but hey, I appreciate you. Um, I'm a little nervous, shy, so like, you know, we can like get to know each other. I feel like I don't know any of my subscribers, honestly. Um, no, I won't say that. I won't say I don't feel like I know any of you guys. It's, it's just been a while. I'll say that. But yeah, so um, welcome back. Or welcome. Hi. Uh, I'm awkward, if you couldn't tell. So the last time I saw you guys, I was in Houston. Um, and I was I had like a really constrictive energy around me. Like I felt like I couldn't express myself. And that's something that... I haven't really felt before, at least not to the extent that it was. Like, I felt really, I mean, constricted is the best word. And so I had to release that energy. I had to um, let it go. So um, I shook that off. I finally released that and let go. Like, I, it even got to the point where, like, I was so tense that I had, like, like right here, it was it was like I couldn't move my shoulder. And this was like this for like a month or two. Like it was just like an energy. It was so weird. And something I haven't like experienced before. But it really felt like something was on my back. Seriously. And so um, so that's gone. I feel so much better. Um, yeah, so that's like an update from the last video. Since then, whew, we have done so much. The entire time I wanted to vlog, um, but like I said, I had that constricting energy around me, so it was very hard to just like get into it and to open myself up. So um, there's just like a whole bunch of clips of like me trying and then never like completing an entire vlog. So, um, so that was cool. Not at all. And that's, I've just been like, decompressing and just trying to feel grounded again because um it was just a lot we went through a lot and um i'm the type of person who needs to just be grounded and 
I feel like my life gets hectic sometimes, as our, as all of ours do. And so when life is just like, like I, I need to take a step back. I need to recollect my thoughts. I need to balance these chakras and then get pushing. So that's what I'm in like the process of doing of just like becoming Zen and trying to figure it out. Um, so I want, no. So I'm going to start making more short films and more just like creative things. Like I haven't, I've never really introduced this channel. I've never really talked about, you know, what I want this channel to look like because I didn't really have an idea. Well, I take that back. It's not that I didn't have an idea. I just didn't know how to express those facets of myself. And so now I think, you know, after, seriously, after releasing that like restrictive energy, I am in such a better place. Like I'm real YOLO right now. Just real like, I don't know what this is, but like that's how I'm feeling. And so, um, and it feels great. So, um, so yeah, uh, I wanna just create. That's what it is, I just wanna create. And whatever that is, is like what it is. So, um, toy poodle for me and my sister because we he felt so bad for moving us from South Carolina to Colorado so he finally gave in and got us a dog that we had been begging for and it wasn't until we both graduated high school and went to college that we then gave our dog to our mama and she took care of him and they became best friends and he was able to just enjoy his time and live his best life with her. You let me go. <laughs> gotcha. It's my bachelorette weekend. Hey. And I'm cute. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to Arizona in like 10 minutes. No, not 10 minutes. Jelani just got this for his birthday. He got a new camera. She so, got yeah. But, I'm gonna get fucked up! I'm so cute. I'm really proud of my outfit. This is probably the only cute outfit I'm gonna do. Low Pocahontas. If I get to see everybody that I love, mine is Ashley, because she ain't shit, but it's okay. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great evening. Thanks. So we don't gotta work out. Why do you have AKA stuff on? <laughs> because she's living this AKA. There's a step there. I, I put this in there like this so that you couldn't hug me. I did it on purpose. It hurts. 
everybody hi. I heard you got everybody You're hi. You're next. On accident. <laughs> Low key. <laughs> I didn't it's know like that movie, about. and then you know you put they put the breath. What, Wait, what movie was that? You're my friend. No, I'm not. 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 So it's the next day, and I'm tired. Um, we're supposed to go hiking, so I'm really excited for that. And everyone's getting chicken and waffles right now, and I'm fake cleaning up. But last night was really fun. So I'm back where it all started. Um, my parents are actually moving and uh, it just so happened like I went to my bridal shower and they came here. So I'm here for their moving and the movers are actually here. And um, I'm just spending like the last couple moments in my room. Like this room is so spiritual for me. Like. This is where it all started. Oops, okay. You know, right here, that's some weave. That's some weave right there. I wish it was clean, but it is what it is. But yeah, ooh, my arm hurt. Ooh, it's not a good angle. Ooh, it's not gonna be a long vlog. But um, I know I've been gone for a while. That's not what this is about. This is about my room and how how much energy is in this room like i had so many late nights here i had so many early mornings here right after i graduated grad school i came back here and um and try to figure life out you know like i came home and um it was hard at times it was I did a lot of growing I you know living with your parents when you're older you kind of have the opportunity to go over your childhood and go over some of the trauma and some of the things that uh, some of the things that scarred you as a child um, now for everybody that's different um, yeah for everybody it's different and so me living at home at 26 you know, well, twice, because I did it at 22 after I graduated undergrad, went to grad school, came back, was 25, 26, living at home. And, uh, you know, you have, you're living with your parents and you have opportunity to talk to them like adults in a different way that, um, than you could before. And so a lot of healing took place in this house. A lot of healing took place in this room and a lot of transformation took place here. And so, um, you know, coming back where it all started feels really good and it feels um, complete. And so I'm just so thankful that, um, you know, I'm thankful for how life turned out or is turning out and a place that, um, you know, I had a lot of lows in because graduating grad school and not finding a job and realizing that maybe the corporate world isn't the path that you want to take and trying to figure out, you know, if not then, then what? Um, that just going through all of that really helped me and, um, you know, got me to where I'm at now. And so it's just, I love this room so very much. And uh, I'm sad. Uh, I'm not sad, but, um, you know, it, there were overall really good and the bad like these were really good memories here and I am a little sad to see it go but I know that um it's time so yeah so I'm here packing got all my stuff um this is everything that I took I'm taking an extra bag back because you know over packing but um yeah it's time to go but um, yeah, and I know by the time you guys see this video, well one, today is April, today is April 9th. Today is April 9th and um, today is April 9th and I'll probably have this uploaded in the next week or so. And then um, you guys, you know, you'll see like why I've been gone, just life. I haven't been on here in like four months. Yeah, but um, 
it's April 9th, you guys. By the time you guys see this, you'll see, you know, just why I've been gone. Um, just living life and trying to uh, figure it out off camera. <laughs> but um, I'm like coming here, I think coming here has, rem has helped kind of it's closed the chapter so that another one can open and um wait one second so we're getting married in new orleans that's where my family's from um and it's just an amazing city and i'm putting it out there i'm going to open a yoga studio there like give me give me five years in five years i will have a yoga studio in new orleans do i do yoga regularly no will i have a yoga studio in five years yes I put it out there.